Arr, ahoy there! Let's get this ship in the harbor! And, uh, how many players be playing? Uh, hello? Uh, got your ears on, good buddy? Yeah, come on, how many be playing? You know, I've got all day. Just let me know when ye learns how to count. Err, time's up. No playing for ye. Come back when ye can answer me riddles correctly. Jam all in there. There's room for all three of you. Here are your screws. You can thank me later. Listen up. Say the question comes up and you hear the dull thump of your neighbor's jaw hitting the floor. That's the perfect time to buzz in, hit the S key, and screw them. Then they gotta answer it. Got it? Okay, put down the instruction manual. It's time to get started. Player three, why don't you pick a category for us? Obviously, you're paralyzed with indecision. Why don't I choose? Up next, hands on several hard bodies. Let's go $2,000 for this one. Okay, you know what movie I love? Planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> Those aren't pillows. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Hey, wouldn't it be great if they made a sequel with a bigger budget where those guys had to do it all again, but with flashier vehicles? If John Candy and Steve Martin had actually traveled on planes, trains, and automobiles, which of these, in order, would they have taken? Super Chiefs, Firebirds, and MiGs, MiGs, Super Chiefs, and Firebirds, Firebirds, MiGs, and Super Chiefs, or MiGs, Firebirds, and Super Chiefs? Sorry, clock ran out. Take a look at this. A MiG's a plane, a Super Chief's a train, and guess what? A Firebird is a car. Put them all together and it spells high comedy. Well, not really, but you get the point. Player two, your choice. No, no, please, allow me. The category where old countries go to die. $2,000 at stake on this one. Boy, I'd really like to know what the hell we're spending all that money on the United Nations for. I mean, what's in it for us? Suppose the UN gave out retirement benefits. Because it's been around for fewer than 65 years, which of the following would not be able to collect a pension? Turkey, Italy, Greece, or Israel? Where did the time go? Here's the one you didn't pick. Israel's only 50. I know. She doesn't look a day over 5,758. Player one, which category do you want? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What's so hard about this? Watch. Coming at you, sack of pain. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. Now, have you ever been feeling so sorry for yourself that someone called you a sad sack? Well, suppose you sought counseling because you actually thought you were a sad sack. What would be your therapist's most appropriate diagnosis? Vintage automobile identifier, colostomy procedure fixated, desert nomadic obsessive, or comic strip soldier delusions. So you don't lose any sleep over it. Sad Sack was a 40s comic strip about a loser soldier. The strip was a lot like Beetle Bailey, only without all the highbrow humor and literary illusions. Go ahead and pick one, player three. Hello? 
Would you like me to choose one? Okay. Let's see what we got going. What a code jerk. How does $4,000 sound? Heads up. Here it comes. If TV's Kojak walks into a bar and starts telling a dirty joke, which of these is the best description of what's happening? A person of color is being off color. A souse is starting to grouse. A really bald man is telling a ribald story. Or a private eye is talking about T and A. luck. Should have picked this one. Ribbled is the potty mouth talk, and Kojak says bald as a lollipop. <laughs> Player two, which category do you want? Oh, don't worry. I'll get it. Oh, well, lucky you. Look what I've done for you. I've chosen a dis or dat. This dis or dat category name is, either way, it's a meaty roll. Now, I'm going to read off seven character names, and for each one, I'd like you to tell me if it's a John Wayne character or a character of porno star John Holmes. A subtle difference, but it's there. As each one appears, if it's a John Wayne character, press one. If it's a John Holmes porno character, press two. And if you want to skip one, press four. You'll get $1,000 for each one you answer correctly, and I'm taking away $1,000 for the ones you get wrong or you don't get to. All right, I'm going to start you off with 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Duke Slade, John Wayne or John Holmes? Hey, Brainiac, skip it. I'll come back. Come on, answer it or skip it. Hello, you still with me? Oh, unfortunately, I have to take away $1,000 for each one you didn't answer. Well, now, that's a dis or dad only a mother could love. What do you say we look at your new total? Oh, boy. Nothing to see here, folks. Player one, your category. I haven't got all day, people. Well, look what I found. Intercontinental breakfast, tang and tube steak. This one can net you four grand. So maybe you've heard about this new international space station thing that's orbiting the Earth. Yeah, 16 countries are a part of it. But tell me this. If an international house of pancakes opens on the international space station, which of these items will probably not be on the breakfast menu? Colombian coffee, French toast, Canadian bacon, or Belgian waffles? Oops, no time left. For the curious, here's the right answer. Colombia is not one of the 16 countries currently part of the International Space Station. They're too busy dealing with their powdered sugar cartels. Which category would you like, Player 3? Obviously, you're paralyzed with indecision. Why don't I choose? Through, but first, the attack. Pay attention to the items I show you. Buzz in on a correct match and you win. Buzz in on an incorrect match, you lose. And don't forget. Remember the clue. Your match better fit this clue. Where are you heading? And can you give me a lift? I'll just throw my amp in the back.
matter. Don't you like the way I run my game? Well, you can shove it up your collective butt. I probably shouldn't even show you these. You kids got yourselves a tie. Player one, player three, you wound up right where you started, and you wasted everybody's time along the way. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Do me a favor. Take a long, hard look into the monitor and repeat after me. You don't know Jack! How many players be playing? Ahoy there! Um, uh, how many be playing? Aye, what? You need a protractor? What? Can't you count? Aye, that does it. Time's up. Too late. Get off me ship. Listen, if you three have the time, I've got the useless facts and trivia. Who wants it? Who wants it? Okay, screws all around. I'm easy. All right, a word on the screws. If a question comes up and you know your neighbor doesn't have the answer, go for the jugular and screw them. Just buzz in and hit the S key. I'm told that's how you screw. Simple enough. And we're off. Player one, pick a category, please. Hello? Would you like me to choose one? Okay. I'm calling this one, Everybody Must Get Stones. 4,000 bucks if you get this. Ah, those Brits. They've got a confusing way of doing everything. Like measuring weight. They've got this one measurement they call a stone. Here, let me show you. Which of these Brits' kidney stone stories is least impressive in terms of weight? Oh dear, I passed one five stone stone. Blimey, I passed two three stone stones. Righto, I passed three two stone stones. What, what, four? Cheerio, I passed four two stone stones, eh? you watching the paint dry it's elementary math my dear watson you know it really doesn't matter how much a stone weighs because no matter how you cut it one times five is less than two times three three times two or four times two and honestly no matter how you cut it even passing a one stone stone would take away my will to live make your selection player three Oh, don't worry, I'll get it. Okay, give it up for Waylon Smithers while Montgomery burns. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. Put it in gear, cause here we go. Suppose on an all new Simpsons, Mr. Burns bribes Congress to repeal the 19th Amendment. Which of these will happen? Mo will close his tavern, Apu will be forced to leave the country, Marge Simpson won't be allowed to vote, or Chief Wiggum won't read people their rights. Too late. Don't! The 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. Wow, cartoons are pretty amazing, huh? Thanks to the magic of animation, women can vote and do all sorts of neat things. Select a category, player two. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what's so hard about this? Watch. Allow me to introduce... The autopilot needs to call his auto lawyer. Give me a correct answer, I'll give you six grand. So, you've heard of couples who sneak into the bathrooms of airplanes and, uh... Do it. 
Anyway, suppose a couple sneaks into the bathroom of an airplane to break some blue sky laws. What will they be doing? Disobeying securities regulations, defying casino licenses, ignoring clean air statutes, or violating trade embargoes. flies, don't it? You want to see what the smart money says? Oh, yeah, baby. You lock that door and show me that portfolio. A blue sky law regulates the sale of stocks, bonds, and other securities. After you get fired for breaking them, they give you a nice golden parachute. Player one, select a category. No, no, please, allow me. Well, what do we have here? The first CK1 is free. 4,000 bucks if you get this. Okay, could somebody explain women's perfume to me? They all have these outrageous names, each one trying to outdo the next. They're like little bottles of danger. Ralph Lauren's romance leads to Gucci's envy, leads to Calvin Klein's obsession, leads to Christian Dior's what? Dagger, noose, mace, or poison? You snooze, you lose. Let me show you what I would have picked. Poison. It's a very popular designer fragrance. I understand the next hot new scent is going to be dead by the side of the road. Player three, what looks good? I haven't got all day, people. Hey, guess what I've got here? It's time for a... Let's take a look at your category. Let's give a shout out to Colonel Sanders. The starting amount for this one is $10,000. Okay, as soon as you figured out what this gibberish phrase rhymes with, buzz in, because I'll be taking away some cash every second and a half. All right, take a look at this gibberish phrase and tell me what it rhymes with. Drumsticks fill. One holler, Stan. Oh, and like most other things in this game, just ignore the punctuation. First clue, it's a TV character. Hmm, AKA Pablo? It's a TV character made of bionic parts. Oh, the bionic Pablo. I'll tell you what, he looks like more than a million bucks. Out of time. Boy, you had the technology, you think you would have been able to answer the question. Steve Austin is also known as Drumsticks Phil One Holler Stan. Boy, six million dollars sure doesn't go as far as it used to, huh? I mean, for that kind of money today, you might be able to get a bionic kidney. Used. Player two, category time. Obviously, you're paralyzed with indecision. Why don't I choose? Shake hands with... My mom can kick your mom's butt. Get it right? I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. Let's see how you handle this one. My mother and your mother were out watching clothes. My mother punched your mother right in the nose. How could a boxing referee have stopped the fight once the nose bleeding began? By pulling out a red card, by calling a standing eight count, by asking for a bleeder's minute, or by using one of his three timeouts. Time's up. Here's the one the winners pick. In boxing, a referee will call a standing eight count when a boxer's condition is in question. Of course, if that doesn't work, he'll ask the boxer, bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish, how many pieces do you wish? Player one, it's all you. Pick one.
No, no, please, allow me. Welcome to the Jack Attack. Now you should already know all about this. Let's not waste any more time. Need a clue? Just what kind of man are you singing about? I know, it's only rock and roll, but I like it. Probably shouldn't even show you these. <laughs> we got a three-way tie. Wow, after an entire game, you all ended up right where you started with a big fat nothing? Good thing the planets aren't in alignment or we'd have the apocalypse on our hands. Hey, here's one sure sign the end is near. You don't 